So when you choose an atlatl, what you need to do is consider what you want to use it for. Um, these, these two atlatls, the uh, uh, Catatonk Hunter and the Wild Lucing, these are really good for hunting. If I was going to use another one of these atlatls for hunting, other than these two, I, I would use the Catatonk. It, it, it doesn't have the same features as the Catatonk Hunter, but it's, it's also a very good hunting atlatl. If you want to impress your friends with a really nice looking atlatl, uh, of course, I, I'm, going to, I'm going to put the wild loosing back into that category. These three atlatls here, the, the wild loosing, the Tioga, and the Wapasending are really graceful, beautiful, sculptured uh, atlatls that look good. So if you want to hunt and have a really nice one, the wild loosing is, uh, is good for that. These look great hanging on your wall next to set of darts. If you want an atlatl that is not very expensive, um, these are the atlatls you want to look at, the Catatonk and the Nanticoke and the Canicadillas. These, these four atlatls are all very inexpensive uh, by comparison. We sell uh, these atlatls in kit form. Let's see. The, these five atlatls, the Nanticoke, the Wailusing, the Catatonk, the Catatonk Hunter, and the uh, Canicadilla, they, they all are all available in kit form, which costs about half as much as uh, finished atlatls. And you can finish them the way you like them. You can put any kind of finish on that you want. Uh, the, the Nanticoke is the simplest and most original of the atlatls that we have. It's kind of like a the atlatls that maybe you would call basket maker atlatls, although basket maker atlatls are quite different from this. But this is a, an atlatl that probably, if you had um, had this atlatl in your hand and you had, just happened to have a flux capacitor stuck on your car uh, and you went back in time and had this atlatl, uh, they'd know this was an atlatl. Uh, if, you, if you had this atlatl here, the, the, the Tioga, they might not know that was an atlatl. You'd have to tell them that. And then, and then the Canandaigua, the reason that we made the Canandaigua is because there was a call for atlatls that were paddle atlatls that, that you know, were used with a wrist in the opposite direction. The difference between this atlatl and the other atlatls is your arm um, bends this way. These, are, these atlatls are hammer grip atlatls. Your, your hand is, your wrist is bending this way. This one, it's bending this way. Rather than this way, it bends this way, like you're waving goodbye. For some people, that's an advantage. And uh, in particular, it's an advantage for people who have uh, problems with pain in their wrist or in their elbows from hammering. Um, a lot of people have that problem. And then these uh, three atlatls all have uh, these Ys, we call them Ys. They're uh, a, a little thing that holds uh, the dart uh, without holding it in your, with your finger. The, the dart just fits into the Y like that. And uh, you, don't, you do not put your finger on, on the dart. So now we come to the smooth handle uh, Canicadilla that also has a Y. This particular atlatl comes in two lengths. This is the shorter of the two lengths. You want one that's about this long. This is a, an atlatl that's designed for somebody that's a lot smaller than I am. Again, it hooks like that. And remember when you put the dart in, don't push it into the Y.